We're going to show you how to set up your ArcScan 2054A Thermal Shipping Label Printer. Let's begin by loading our shipping label roll into the printer. First, position the printer so that the mouth is facing you. Open your label printer by taking both hands and positioning your fingers behind the green triangles. Pull the triangles towards you and then up. Remove the rod located in the middle of the printer like so. Remove one of the shields and place the rod through your shipping label roll. Put the shield back onto the rod so that your label roll is between them. Place it back into the shipping label printer like so. Be sure that the orientation of the roll is correct. You want the first sheet of the roll to be appearing from the top facing the mouth of the printer. Position the shipping label in the center of the rod. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you can use the measurement markings on the rod for reference. Take the first sheet out of the roll and position it under and between the two green sliders. Bring the sliders closer to each other in a way in which it will secure the first sheet and the flow of the following sheets after that. You don't want to make this too tight though. Pull the first sheet from the roll until it's positioned like so. You can now close the printer and press down until it snaps into place. If you haven't done so yet, connect the power cable of your printer into an outlet. A unique feature about this printer is its label size auto detecting feature. Inside the printer is a sensor that allows it to automatically detect the size of your label. To do this, make sure your printer is turned off from the back switch. Hold the green button in the front while switching your printer on. Keep holding the green button until the light turns red. As soon as you see the light turn red, let go of the button. The printer will automatically detect the size of your label. It will use a page or two for measuring purposes. We're now ready to move on to the next step. Downloading the drivers. Drivers enable your computer to communicate with the printer. So you want to go to our website, arcscan.com and navigate to the product page of the printer. Alternatively, you can click on the link in the description and it should bring you there directly. Once you get to the product page, you want to click on the download tab and then scroll down until you see Mac driver. Click on the little cloud icon to start your download. Then click on the blue folder that pops up on the bottom right hand side. So here are the things that we've downloaded. And what we're going to do now is copy and paste this into the downloads folder just to make it a little easier for us to set up. So next, you want to open the PKG file. It's called 2054a mac install.pkg. So go ahead and open that. If you don't see anything pop up, it might be on the bottom that looks like a hard disk called installer. Now just go ahead with the installation process like so. And now you've finished installing it. It's going to ask you if you want to keep it or move it to trash. We're just going to keep it for now. Next thing you want to do is on the little Apple icon, you want to head over to System Preferences. Go to Printers and Scanners. And then click on the plus icon. And if the printer isn't plugged in yet, you should do it now and you should see the printer show up in this menu. Click on 4 barcode 4B2054A. On the bottom side where it says use, you want to select other, and then go to downloads and select the PPD file. It's called 2054A Mac driver .ppd. Press open. 
and press add. Now it's going to say it was installed incorrectly. Hit repair and then it might ask you for your keychain password. Press OK and the menu should disappear by itself. Alright, so that is done. Now we're going to go to the text editor so that we can configure the page size a little bit more. This is something that you only have to do once. So once you have the text editor open, you can type anything you want. I'm just going to type in test because it doesn't really matter. And then you want to go to file and page setup. So under paper size, you want to go to manage custom sizes. Press the plus button on the bottom left hand side. And then under non-printable area, select 4 barcode 4B 2054A and change the paper size to 4 by 6. And then click OK. OK again. And now that's set up. Now we're ready for some testing. So back to the product page of the 2054A. Go back to the downloads tab and then navigate over to the sample shipping label. It's all the way down so you can download it. Once you click on the blue cloud icon, it's going to open up the sample shipping label. So you can press command P to print or go to file and then print. Then you wanna click on show details. Where it says layout, you want to change that to printer features. Change the darkness to 15 to ensure the best quality possible. And then you want to change the scale so that it fits the preview perfectly. In this case, we're going to choose 49. And then paper size is 4 by 6, which is the standard for shipping labels. Now press print, and it should print out perfectly, just like that. To print other shipping labels, you want to do the same process more or less. And that's about covers it for this tutorial. If you have any other questions, do not hesitate to reach us on our website, arcscan.com. We are available for live chat for technical support. So if you learned something new or you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video.